So hi guys, I'm Karen. And I'm Maya. So we wanted to uh, get into self-care for the month of January. And so we have five simple ways that you can show yourself some love um, this year and especially the month of January since it's a time of renewal and new beginnings. So the first way that I think that um, that I think that you can show yourself self-care and things that I do for myself, so I'm not just speaking off the top of my head, is to give your allow yourself to have really good nutrition, not just in the month of January, but all year round. Um, and so not just good nutrition, but drink lots and lots of water. Um, and during the during the winter months, wherever you're you're located or whatnot. Um, your uh, ability to get certain fruits and vegetables may be plenteous, but I know in the winter time where we are, one of the things I really look forward to in the winter time are the really, really good oranges, grapefruits, lemons, any citrusy thing. And we tend to add those to everything. Do what do you add your? Uh, I well, I have a ton of oranges. I like to keep them around all winter. We have them now too. We have <laughs> There's like all oranges, tangerines, and I don't even think they're the same oranges. At one point, no. like last year, we accidentally bought blood oranges, regular oranges, Those and tangerines, are really good. and grapefruits, but we didn't know the difference because they all looked like in the same orange color. And if you go to all, if you have an Aldi nearby, they have my favorite orange from them are the Cara Cara oranges. Um, they're kind of red on the inside. And um, I, like she said, I throw all of the oranges so in a huge bowl. So which. you don't know which one is which. And that way, uh, people don't pick out all of the Cara Cara oranges. So it's kind of a surprise as to which one you actually get. Um, <laughs> and we do a lot of lemons this time of year. Um, not so much lime, but it's, I am trying like, to pick those up more often. We use the lemons and like you can make like fresh tea. We use like the lemons um, for like fresh teas or um, sometimes in the meals that we are making that day. Mm. Um, I'm one of the people who tries to use the whole thing, so I'll just cut, shave the skin off, make like a fresh tea, and then I'll use the inside of it. And the rind stuff also is used for tea, so I end up using the entire lemon. Um, and also the juice is um, good for uh, food too, or just drinking it. Um, so, yeah. And what I tend to do, oh, where did that come from? So what I, <laughs> what I tend to do is whatever tea that I have, like this morning I made chamomile and peppermint. And so what I did is I just cut a fresh lemon and then added that to the tea as well. Yeah. Um, fresh lemon tea is like bomb. It's, it's like eat well, eat um, like Michael Pollan says, eat food, mostly plants, <laughs> um, especially during this time of the year where, I mean, uh, you know, you have all of the different colds going around as well as all the new things that are happening. So during this time of the year, you want to feed yourself really well um, and it'll, it'll help you not only keep yourself healthy and free from not also not you know it doesn't mean that you won't catch a cold here and there but it will help your immune system so um the next one is make sure you're getting enough sleep sleep is so important it helps uh, your body rest it helps your heart rate um, your metabolism everything sleep is so important i know um you know uh Back in the day when I was a kid, you know, we didn't have all of the technology. Now I'm dating myself. Okay, I'm not super, super old, but um, yeah. Um, I was around before we had all this major technology. And in our home growing up, in my family's home growing up, there was like one TV. So if you, um, you know, if you weren't watching what was on the TV, then you are probably in your room reading a book or something. So, but nowadays, a lot of times people tend to stay up later. No, Our phones. We do not have TVs on the phone. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about us personally. Well, I'll say that we have one TV. Oh, no, I'm saying and people. What she just people said about tend her to have. Is ours. <laughs> people tend to have TVs all over the place. 
and in our home now we have one TV because I just think if we're gonna watch it, it should be there for everybody to watch. And not, whatever is on it, we all have to watch. And, and whatever's on it, so everybody that has story to watch she it. She just told about her past. Yeah, she she brought that. I brought to that brought, the brought that to the future, right? Um, <laughs> but everybody in here has a phone, and so you know a phone laptop and so when people are by themselves in their room you can watch tv late um via the laptop or be on the internet and uh i try to tell them like when they were on campus on their college campuses turn it turn it off have a, a designated time where you you know uh that you go to bed that you so your body can get at least at least seven hours or you know, for her and her sisters, at least eight hours of rest. Even if you're not completely asleep, you're allowing your body to just kind of decompress from the day um, and let your mind rest as well. And I mean, and just get a good night's nice sleep. I mean, you know, and so sleep is very important. And it's another, like I said, that's number two in the self-care. So first you have good nutrition. So try to stay away from foods that are processed if you can. Um, cook your food yourself. Make sure that you're getting great vitamin, you know, the uh, eating in season because that gives you all of the vitamins and nutrients during that time of the year, such as vitamin C, as Maya's men Maya mentioned, from like your oranges, your lemons, um, any citrus fruit. Um, and then Number two would be rest, get some sleep. Number three, move your body. Um, I'm one who likes to get up out and early. Um, no, <laughs> I like, I, I get out and, and, and run about five o'clock in the morning. It is cold here. Well, it's not cold compared to not compared to else. where we used to live. It's just you've gotten used. <laughs> I've gotten to used to. So I will say, chill, yesterday, oh, yesterday in the morning here in North Carolina, it was. We live uh, cl close to. We're in the. We're close to Virginia where we live, and so um, it was probably about twenty five degrees. Which is not very cold. Um, I have family members who live in Colorado, so that's not cold to them. Uh, when we lived in Germany, it got colder than that. But because we've been here for a little bit, we have acclimated to these temperatures. And it does feel cold uh, once you step out the door. But once I get moving, it's great. Go ahead. Um, it snowed in Greensboro and Charlotte. It just didn't <laughs> snow here. I'm a little bit upset about that because I wanted to see snow, but we just freeze. Oh, I wanted it to see snow because I would love to go out in the uh, snow. By the way, that's wind that's chill so amazing. is 10 degrees colder than the degree you're on. So if she got hit with wind while she was outside and it was 25 degrees, that makes it 15. Yeah, but uh, you know, I I have my hat on. I'm prepared. Uh, what I is it? What sad. is it? What is it that they say? Uh, I forgot what country says this, but it's not the bad weather, it's bad clothing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's not bad weather, technically, it's that you're poorly dressed for the weather. If you buy <laughs> all your winter stuff from a country that gets really cold, then you'll never be cold in North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> You won't be cold at all. I mean, you it's cold outside, insane. but you won't feel it because you'll just be overly insulated. So, like I said, going back over them, number one is good nutrition. Number two, get your sleep. Stop and get some rest. And then three, make sure that you're moving your body. Get outside, and preferably in the fresh air if you can, because um, you're getting the fresh air, um, you know, uh, it, it uplifts your thoughts, um, you know, uh, so however you're feeling, a good walk, run, whatever the case may be, even if it's just for 20 minutes, just for 30 minutes, get out there and get some fresh air and move your body. It's the only body that you have. How do I so, feel like this is more directed at me than the viewers? Uh, well, Maya, move your body. <laughs> Say. We have to we have to encourage Maya to get out and get some fresh air. Now I will no, no, say no, no. I will I say go outside to get she, fresh air. Right, right. I just don't run. Okay, I will say this though, she is uh she is a really good gardener. Uh, we garden together, so, so I do go out. She does go outside. She just, don't she just doesn't running. come running with me. It's also um, the timing. She goes running in the morning. I, I like running. I'm in a the morning afternoon. person. Yeah. 
So for those of you out there who are evening or night people, I know you're like, whatever, yeah, you're a morning you person, so of course you get up at 4 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock in the morning and, cause, and feel great. <laughs> but I, I do, I feel better in the morning uh, to, to get it done, and then I'm just like, oh, check, it's done, on with the day. Um, and also, now that we mentioned it, if you don't want to get out and, and, and uh, go out into nature first thing in the morning, garden. Uh, oh, it's just an amazing experience. Uh, I've always tried to do little little gardens, but last year was our first time doing a major tech tackling a major guard major gardening and we're going to do it again this year i think they missed it, like when we were planting it they we'll only show you got pictures. the other side when we were pulling it out of the earth so, yeah like it was it was fun it, it was, was fun it was a, it was a lot experience. of work um but um, this year we're we're trying to this year i think the goal i mean well in the next few months actually we want to the goal is to plant like 200 sunflowers um the seeds we have to we the goal is to do at least 200 sunflowers like I've seen sunflower walls and I never thought that we did mammoth sunflowers so we're going to try that again this year so I've already started getting all my seeds and things going for that and and this month I will actually start um I think I should do a video about that so this month I'll actually um I've been saving egg cartons and whatnot and I will start the seed process for some of my um, plants that will take longer to grow if that I just put the seed right into the ground. So maybe I'll videotape that. But again, so going back over our thing. So one, make sure you're uh, taking care of and getting good nutrition, staying away from a lot of pre-packaged um, pre and processed foods. Um, Did yeah. you forget hydration? No, and drink your water. That was part of, you know, taking, um, eating nutrition. Drink your water. Um, and then, so drink your water, eat real foods, try to stay away from your processed foods, um, eat more vegetables uh, and fruits, um, nuts and seeds, and that will really help. Make sure you're getting your sleep at least eight hours a night. That's two. Uh, and then three, get some fresh air, sunshine, walk, run. I don't know, uh, ride your bicycle in, um, outside at least for 20 to 30 minutes a day. Number four, try to turn off the TV. Try to turn off your social media. Try... You don't have any of your problems. No, no, no. Not in that way. The thing that I need to turn off is I read books on my phone, like... On her phone. I, but I'm saying they read the books... Book, I would read that too. Read, but the just thing is, I don't put book. them down, so I just keep. I'm like, oh, this book was good, and I read the next one. I'm, I'm, I'm like the only thing that plays on that TV is the news, and lately that that is actually <laughs> a little too much. But. but you know, I mean, we all like a good um, Netflix movie or whatnot. That's what we, That's my husband fair. and I, we tend to do Netflix on Saturday on night. Weekend, so. Yeah, on the weekend, but. Um, I really enjoy reading a really good book and I mean I um, I've been taking this time to find really good books to read and and I encourage mine when she finds the book on her phone try to why not just find the because book itself on Kindle Unlimited I only pay them $14 a month and I get like thousands of books but if okay. I was to buy each Harper book I would be broke in a month okay so hence the reason why she but do try to you know, limit your time on your phone in front of the TV and just take some time for yourself to be with you and your thoughts. Um, so they're not always, um, you're not always on, you know, having to think so. So turn off the TV or turn off your social media. And then fifth, the last thing I would say is gratitude. To live your life just filled with gratitude for whatever, wherever you are in life, what you have in life. I forgot one. What? Relaxation. No, uh, and that's well. That well, I didn't forget that. Does, that goes does, with uh, doesn't. turning off the TV. Yeah, that's not relax. Wait, wait. Uh, well, well like, that would be number six. But I mean, the rain's falling. It's like you can put a CD on Spotify and listen to the rain falling. It's really relaxing. Or the sounds of the waves crashing into the rocks or the beach. It's really relaxing. Or just sipping tea while it rains outside. It's. I mean, all these or are good. 
Mm. All these are great ways to um, to rest and meditate and take time for yourself. Just took my phone. No, I'm saying like I mean these are all ways of self having self care. I just didn't write them down, but you know, um, but you know she's right. You can. You can listen to music. I know music is therapy for me, therapeutic for me. So I do enjoy that. Um, but I do have a gratitude journal that I write in every day. Um, I also just take, I try to take note of the things to be grateful for, uh, even the minutia things. Um, because just, I think sometimes, I think the gratitude that we have it brings such positivity and, 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 and brings joy to our lives. Um, and not that you're happy all the time, because that's impossible, but just being grateful and being in a state of gratitude, a place where you can appreciate all of the things, all of the good things in your life, um, helps you uh, have more of a positive outlook, even if you are in you know, a, a tough situation. So, and, um, and that has worked for me. So, but we didn't want to keep you guys, but, um, these are our five things. So you want to go back over them, Maya? So, uh, I'll let her add. So I just have five simple acts of self-care. So she said, do you want to go over <laughs> okay. there? But let me so, tell you all of them again. So nutrition, take care, That's eat literally. good, <laughs> sleep, get, get good rest, at least eight hours. Fresh air, sunshine, get outside, get some fresh air, whether it's running, walking, gardening, or something like that. Try to turn, take time away from social media just to spend time with yourself and your thoughts and gratitude. Those were my five. Maya, what do you have to add? I was about to say. Like, As we embark Karen upon 20, 20 minutes. This is 20 minutes. Okay, Almost 20 minutes. My five things. Five? Yes, five. We all have to have five. Okay. <sighs> Enjoy life. It's the only one you're going to get, so enjoy it. Live it to the fullest. I don't know how you do that during quarantine, but try as much as possible. Why are you making those weird faces? I'm not. Okay. Eat healthy. Um, my mom's going to make faces for that because I, just I, said that. I struggle with that too. But I'm, you said for me. What are the five things for me? Okay. Stay hydrated. That, that is a, a major one for, for me. Thank you. Thank you. Um... Find ways to get sunshine that don't involve exercise. <laughs> and <laughs> relax. Okay. It's and like... <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We want to thank you guys for following us on this journey. We wish you all a wonderful week next week. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!